So today we're going to be looking at a file submitted by a user. Um, they had a question about how to analyze it. So we'll go through that real quick and, uh, and show you how to do that. But if you all have any questions on this video or any of our other analysis videos, go ahead and head over to ringzerolabs.com and we can help you out. But today, uh, what we have is a Word document. And um, it's fairly simple, but I'll go through real quick how to, to analyze it. So the first thing we're going to do is go into a tool called the Office Mouse Scanner. And we're just going to scan the file real quick to see what comes out of it. And we're going to throw the info tag on the end. And it turns out there are two VBS scripts within this document. So those VBS scripts are put out to the Office Mouse Scanner folder. And we can inspect those with any notepad editor. So it does look like a very simple script. This is the, uh, the VBS script here. And so what we can do, uh, not a whole lot going on with that. And the other macro is uh, just a message box. So not much going on with that one either. But what we can do real quick is open up FakeNet to catch any network traffic. And then go ahead and open this document within a sandbox. Okay, so this is what the document look, looks like. Um, it's going to say that you know, it's going to have some kind of phishing message in here. You know, please, you know, this uh, this document's encrypted. Please click the button to ena enable macros, which we're going to do. Um, or it popped up something here. But uh, we don't really care about that right now. We're going to go into the developer tab and Visual Basic and take a look at this script. So, uh, looks like it's assigning a uh, uh, value to variable A. And it's doing that by getting project metadata out of the, out of the document. And it's going to get the field of, I've already converted this, but that's a T, I, T, L, E. So it's getting the title metadata from the document. And we can inspect what that is by going to uh, Prepare and Properties. And lo and behold, there's the title metadata there. So if we copy that out. And throw that into a notepad real quick. Now we can go back to our VBS, see what else it's doing. So it's converting that from Unicode. Okay, that's fine. And then for i equals zero, so it's going through that array, and for every character, it's going to subtract four. And then looks like it's reversing that array and then it's going to execute whatever the result is uh, within the shell. Okay, cool, that's easy enough. So what we can do real quick, go ahead and turn off fake net. I'm going to copy all of this and I'm going to go to an online tool called CyberChef. Got to paste that data. And I'm just going to replicate the instructions that the code was doing. So we were subtracting four, and then we were reversing the string. And here we can see what it was going to actually do. So it looks like it's going to execute PowerShell. 
going to open up this URI. It's going to get client.exe, this SO looks to be some kind of delimiter, so that'll be taken out, probably replaced with a period. And get temp path, cool. It's going to save it to this file in the temporary folder, and then it's going to use PowerShell to start that program. Okay, so pretty straightforward. But if you want to actually watch it perform these actions, uh, let me turn TechNet on again so it doesn't reach out and get the file. But you can place breakpoints. And here, I actually want to want to see what this. Yeah, it's fine. I want to see what this string actually turns out to. Okay. Go ahead and run it. And okay, so here we see that A is just a big byte array. So it's going to go through it and sub four from everything. B is going to be that just reversed. Here we see the PowerShell, blah, 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 blah. C is, as we saw, shell just kind of popped up in the uh, in the corner down here, so it executed PowerShell. Um, C, I want to see what the final argument is, and then message box, I'm going to pump it out to a message box here. So we can control C that window. Come down here and paste it, and this is the final argument of what it actually executed in the shell. So uh, that, that's how you, how you analyze the macro-enabled Word documents. The Properties metadata that it did with the title is interesting. I haven't seen that one before. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the uh, the title metadata here. Um, that's kind of interesting that it uh, that it placed its arguments in there and then you know went through a little deobfuscation routine to get the uh, actual arguments out. That's kind of neat. But uh, yeah, so if y'all have any questions about how to analyze. Uh, VBS documents or um, any any office document with some kind of exploit or uh, first stage uh, download or dropper or anything like that go ahead and hit us up at ringzerolabs.com and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have